so I accidentally ripped off a hydraulic line when I plowed them the other day. So I'm going to make a new one and put some fire hose wrap over it to protect it from abrasions. So let's begin. I'm going to use a tape measure to measure this one and maybe mark off about a foot or so off of it since it's the one that's at the bottom that's broke and then cut it out so this is the top hydraulic line we use it's a half inch i'm going to pull out around 11 foot is what i measured of hydraulic line Here I have it marked where I'm going to cut it. As you see here, I have the hydraulic line in the vise. I'm going to make sure the end is clean of debris and that no steel cable that's within the hydraulic line is exposed to the hydraulic coupling that I'm going to thread on shortly. As you see here, I have the male quick disconnect and the male and female inserts for the hydraulic couplings. I'm making sure this hydraulic coupling is straight, not going on crooked before I start threading it on here. Right here, I'm going to keep screwing it around until the hydraulic hose in the inside sits flush to the bottom of the threads as you see here shortly. Now I'm going to screw in this female insert. And here is the after. Now I'm going to do the other end of the hose. Now I got the male insert in the hydraulic coupling. I put some thread tape on it. And I'm going to put this male breakaway coupling on now. And there it is completed. Now I'm going to use an old fire hose to put on the outside of the hydraulic line to protect it from abrasions. But I'm going to have to take this interior lining out. Yeah. I'm going to use air to open it up some more to get the interior lining out. And there goes the interior lining out. All right, I got it, got it through. This doesn't need a any Teflon tape since it will seat down in there as a compression fitting. And the job is completed. I have it all connected back up, ready for the next fire or pre-suppression job.